Imagine you are the coach for Manchester United and you are desperate to get the title this season. People around are saying that you are not playing the players in their best positions. It would be crazy to think, but do you think that De Gea can play better as a defender? Or that Harry Maguire could be a striker? And maybe we can let Rashford try and be a better keeper than De Gea? How do we decide where they should play? Could speed, ball control and strength play a part? Can we use these data to determine which is the best position for the player? Let's see. Our goalkeeper De Gea has exceptional goalkeeping reflexes. Our striker Rashford is really quick and good at dribbling. Finally, our defender Maguire is incredibly strong. It really seems as though we can use these attributes to determine the most suitable position for a player. But how do we do it? As a coach of Manchester United, you decide to use machine learning for classification and we have proposed K-nearest neighbours, naive base, as well as logistic regression. For the ease of visualisation, we will use two attributes, ball control and goalkeeping reflexes, and classify two positions, goalkeeper and striker. First, we have K-nearest neighbours, also known as K and N. Now let's apply K and N model to a new data point for DHA. Notice how close this point is to the cluster of green data points? Yep, this idea of closeness is what K and N is doing and K denotes the number of nearest neighbours that we want to observe closest to a data point. For example, if K is equal to 3, we want the 3 closest neighbours to this data point. Note that the Heyer's 3 nearest neighbours are all goalkeepers. And so, our K and N model predicts the Heyer to be a goalkeeper. Next, we'll introduce our naive base model. Let's introduce the Heyer into the graphs. The Heyer has low ball control and a high goalkeeping reflexes. Both seem to suggest that he is part of the green curve. How shall we interpret this intuition? we get the corresponding probabilities of the Heyer being in a certain position based on goalkeeping reflexes only, it suggests that the Heyer should be a goalkeeper. Given the Heyer's stats, the probability that he is a goalkeeper is greater than the probability that he is a striker. Hence, our naive base model would predict the Heyer to be a goalkeeper. Last but not least, let's introduce our logistic regression model. In logistic regression, we see this S-shaped curve with a clear distinction between goalkeepers and strikers. On the x-axis, we consider the attributes of a player such as ball control and goalkeeping reflexes. We process the attribute vector and put it into the sigmoid function where the output will be squeezed to a range between 0 and 1. The output can be interpreted as a probability at the y-axis. We benchmark this probability against a threshold of 0 0.5 and in the case of De Gea, we get a high probability that he is a goalkeeper. We see that these are just three of the many techniques from machine learning we can use to find out the best position a player should play in. Bear in mind that this is just the tip of the iceberg, and the iceberg is indeed worth exploring. Maybe this is the turning point for Pogba to unleash his full potential and bring Manchester United a league title after so many years. Will Ole listen to us and use machine learning to get the best out of his players?